Big House Board. I just thought I'd do a quick little kind of update video. As you guys know, I normally do from time to time when I feel like you need to know, I guess, what's kind of going on. Obviously, it's that point of the year again. Rugby League has finished. AFL has finished. The cricket is starting up. You know, we've had the Rugby League World Cup. The FIFA World Cup is currently going on. Uh, but this is just kind of a one-off thing. Obviously, most years there's no FIFA World Cup and no Rugby League World Cup. So, um, I, I guess I wanted to just kind of make this video because... I haven't been posting a great deal in the last couple of weeks. Yes, I've been doing all the Australian games and all the Socceroos and, and whatnot, and I actually smashed the Rugby League World Cup, but I have actually have received a few messages from people saying, like, you still doing YouTube? And I'm like, yeah, man. Like, <laughs> yeah, man, I've only been... I've still been posting. Like, it's not like I haven't been posting. It's just that I have only done the Socceroos games in the last, you know, two weeks or so. And I think the reason why uh, this is a thing is because, obviously, sometimes, guys, you, you do need a break. You know, you do need to just kick back and not have to think about what you're doing, right? And, and you know, a lot of the time, you know, people will think that YouTube is very easy and all you do is sit in front of the camera and, and blah, 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 blah. It's like, it's not physically difficult, but mentally it can also become quite difficult if you don't give yourself a break and don't give yourself, I guess, that, uh, you know, the relaxing vibe that you need from time to time. Every single person needs it, whether it's a physically, you know, tough job or a mentally tough job, everyone does need their downtime. and with the fact that we're a sporting channel here and I have, you know, beliefs in what I do and I believe in myself. You know, sometimes you do need to just kind of kick back and, and uh, you know, e even though you want to do every single sport on the planet, you know, like I love rugby league, I love AFL, I love rugby union, cricket, uh, you know, baseball, NBA, American football, literally everything. You know, if I haven't mentioned your sport, I'd probably love it too, to be completely honest with you, but that's the point. You know, it's very difficult to yeah, it's very difficult to keep up with everything. I do a very good job of it because I'm used to it, but it's very difficult to be able to keep up with literally every single thing that's going on in worldwide sport, especially with time zones, as a lot of the Australians have been finding out how difficult it is throughout the Rugby League World Cup in England and also the FIFA World Cup in Qatar. Those time zones are mental and they're not fun, right? They're not fun. And a lot of people also wondering why I haven't been doing every single game of the FIFA World Cup is because two months straight of that was pretty getting pretty forlorn. And I was starting to see that I was not creating as energetic content. It wasn't as exciting uh, because I was just so tired. You know, i just done a whole rugby league one, which was 16 teams, and then jumped straight into a 32 team one. And it did, I just could tell myself that it wasn't going to be great. It was just going to be me sitting down watching a game with you guys. And, I wasn't really mentally going to be there, like I was there, but if you guys have watched enough of my streams, uh, you, sometimes you will notice that I now know how to talk so much that I can be completely out of it. Like I can be, for example, I remember a couple of the Rugby League World Cup games uh, in the beginning parts, or, or, or I can't remember what it was, but the streams, it was like the fourth stream or the third stream of the night, it was like 4.30 in the morning, 5.30 in the morning, and I would literally be talking and I would in my mind be asleep. It's crazy, like I would be asleep, but I'd be talking and I'd be watching what's going on and I would then wake up mid-sentence and say to you guys, I know this sounds weird, but it's true. And I would I would, I would say this on stream and then I would say, did, it, did, did I just fall asleep? Like I would literally ask this, this ch the chat saying, did I just make sense because I just realised I was half asleep, like I was asleep. But <laughs> that's the craziest thing. So that's how tired I was getting, and that's how I was becoming. And I thought that it's just no point doing that to myself, let alone also doing it in regards to creating content. Because you guys know me, I, I want to put the best content out there I possibly can. But sometimes it's just because I'm so obsessed with sport, it's very difficult to keep that same kind of uh, upbeat energy uh, that I do normally have, and, you know, and I've, I've taken these last couple of weeks as a, as a bit of a break and we're about to start smashing it again. Obviously, we're coming to the end of the year and Christmas is coming up and we've got New Year's and then once New Year's comes, I tell you what, obviously rugby league get absolutely smashed again. Uh, but yeah, look, over the next couple of weeks, you're going to start to see, you know, daily videos coming back and a lot more videos coming back because I have needed that break. Uh, but as soon as we get back, you guys know, we absolutely smash it. So, uh, yeah, look, I'm looking forward to it. But these videos like this, they're not, there's not a great deal of actual content behind it. It's just me telling you guys what's going on because you guys need to know. You subscribe. Clicking subscribe has a, like a um, connotation with it that 
you're investing into the channel. And it's like, you're not actually financially, well, if you're a member, then I appreciate that. Or, you know, if you donate, then I appreciate that. But by actually just clicking the subscribe button, you are effectively investing yourself into the content that is provided by that channel. So that's why I'm always thinking about you guys in the sense that I always want to provide good content, not just content for the sake of it. Like, obviously I do get paid from what I do here. And obviously, you know, there are sponsors, there's sponsors, gee whiz, there are sponsors and, um, you know, things that go on behind closed doors and also just YouTube does pay me. It's not like this is for free. So that's why I don't want to, I, I, I just feel like it's a bit, it's a bit shit house if someone's just creating content for the sake of it to earn money rather than doing it for the passion. Because you guys know me, it's about live your passion. You know, don't let anybody tell you that you can't do something. You know, I have plenty of people who tell me all the time, you know, I can't do this. So I have plenty of people who um, would love to be in this situation, right? But insult you because they're not in this situation. But the fact of the matter is, is that you, you need to maintain that passion. And it's not necessarily easy, you know? It's not necessarily easy with the fact that we are so passionate that when your teams aren't going necessarily well, the emotions ride high and ride low with the results that are currently going on. And this has been a big year for me, you know? This has been a really, really big year for me in regards to, well, growth as well. We've gone up about 13,000 subscribers or whatnot. Um, but also in regards to, you know, it being mentally draining. You know, it has been a very tough year as a Gold Coast Titans fan. And a lot of people don't understand this, but a lot of people come towards me as if, like, I am the spokesperson for the club. Um, you know, I am effectively just like you with a voice, right? A, a voice in the social media sense. Because a lot of people come towards me on my streams and, um, you know, ask me things or, or take it out on me for the way that the performance of the team is going because I'm effectively the only one that you can conversate with. The Titans as a social media aren't going to necessarily respond to any, you know, um, questions like that or, or hate or, or, or nonsense that comes online. The players, they don't need to do shit. They can, they can go and chill out whenever they want. They don't even have to go on social media. You know, and the media fuels your bullshit, Right. And when I say your bullshit, I'm just talking about the media fuels a lot of the things that you guys see, like the Dave Fafita situation. So over having to talk about that nonsense, right? But, you know, I am I have to see the comments. Like, when it comes to live streams, I have to see every single comment. And although I can ignore them, and trust me, like, it's very easy to ignore the dickheads. But the fact of the matter is that you still see them, right? So throughout a whole year of a team that you expected to do well, that didn't do well, represents you, you're passionate about it, you're, you're watching your team, plus also you know, commentating it, giving your opinion and, and having to defend them, it does get quite a lot, you know, it does quite, it does get quite mentally difficult um, to, to keep going. And it's like, although we are keep going, we will keep going and there's nothing that stops us because we're so passionate about this sport and this team. Sometimes you just need to kind of take a step back and, and, and refresh for the next year because I don't know how next year's going to go. You know, I have good beliefs in Kieran Foran and Sam Verrills and, and, and the boys coming and uh, maybe, you know, getting that postseason, or end of season four from this season and prolong it into next year. You know, I, I hope to God that happens and I pray to God that happens uh, because I live and die by this team online and you guys know this, like I live and die by the results of this team online. If they win, then I can tell everyone they're a dick. If they lose, then everyone tells me they're a dick. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and this year was a tough one. It was a very tough one, especially when I was well... I'm traveling to every game, right? And next year, I'm going to be going to every single game, right? This year, I went to, I think it was 10, 11 games in a row. Uh, but overall, that's that's like including the away games. I think I missed maybe like four or five away games this year. New Zealand, uh, where did I miss? Manly, St. George, Cowboys. Uh, I think that's it. Oh, Eels away. I think it was about five games I missed this year away, or it could be five or six. The point of the matter is, is that I don't miss many games anymore, yeah? And it takes it out of you too, traveling, you know? It definitely does take it out of you traveling as well. It's very hard to get into a fitness routine. As you guys know, I'm doing a, a very hectic fitness program right now. Um, it's, it's very difficult to, to get to a fitness routine. It's very difficult to have a social life, social life, not social media, I'd say, uh, social life. Uh, and that's a, that's a big thing as well, is that people, they insult you thinking that, like, you don't deserve this. You, you don't. All you do is sit in front of a camera. When what they don't realise is that you sacrifice your entire weekend. If you're doing what I do, 
you sacrifice effectively your entire weekend for this, and that's why all your friends and family and stuff are off their work because everyone does different things. Not everyone is on YouTube, right? So for me, obviously, I love it, and I'm I'm not complaining whatsoever. You know, I do my shit during the week, and then on the weekends, I sacrifice my weekend for you know creation, and I want to even do more creation next year in regards to during the week as well. I don't just want to sit back. I, I want Big House What USA to pick up. I want to do all this kind of stuff, but you know, I've got to think about all that. Um, but yeah, you know, you can't become successful without sacrificing, right? And people need to understand that. Whether you're a hater or someone who loves the content I do, it doesn't really matter. Like overall, you're still a viewer because haters view it. Trust me when I say, all the haters, who they talk shit, they all watch the content. It's just a part of life. You know, they'll, they'll watch it just as much as the people who like it because they're, they're waiting to find something that they can be like, oh, I feel good because you shit. You know, like, good on you, bro. You know, thank you for assisting in the growth of the channel. <laughs> Every hater assists in the growth of the channel. It's hilarious, right? And the sooner you come to understanding of that, the quicker you realize you just kind of don't give a shit, right? But it still does get mentally taxing. It still does. So, yeah, with all that involved... That's why this last two weeks or so has been quite quiet overall. And although I would ideally love to be streaming every single FIFA World Cup game and doing all the likes, sometimes you just need to, to take a step back like everybody else does in life. But don't think that that means that I'm quitting. <laughs> because trust me when I say, there are huge things that are happening next year. Like there are things that, oh, as a creator of, what, going on seven years now, I think we've gone seven years now, but not serious until the last couple um, but as a creator, I never would have believed that this kind of thing could have been happening for someone like myself until now when it's starting to really transpire and really starting to come forward. So definitely things to get excited about, man. You know, I can't say exactly what's happening right now because things are still being worked on, but overall, man, be very excited about next year because one, I ideally, I'm pretty certain I'm going to be at the Rugby Union World Cup in France uh, for 2023, plus also obviously the entire NRL season. Um, you know, there's, and, and plus, there's a, like I said, there's a whole heap of things that are going to be going down. So, uh, yeah, definitely don't believe that anything's stopping or getting slower. It's just that time of the year where in Australia, there's not many sports on. I'm going to probably do the West Indies test and South African tests uh, in the cricket for Australia. I'll probably do those. Um, but And I will. there will be videos and whatnot, but the last couple of weeks is what I've used. And now I'm refreshed and I'm ready to go and then... It's kind of just going to be, it's going to trouble along, I guess, until the new year. But then when the new year comes, I'm telling you, it's going to be absolutely hectic and we're just going to go absolutely all on there. So, yeah, I, like I said, I appreciate you guys. And whenever I say, I always say at the end of the videos, I, I appreciate you guys more than you understand because without each and every single one of you, um, yeah, I wouldn't be able to do what I do. Obviously, I wouldn't be able to create what I create and do what I do and, and, um, and, and punch the content out and, and, you know, become close with my team. It's great to have that connection with the players that I do, you know, and it's great to have the connection with the organization. You know, I'm not a fanboy anymore. Like, I'm not one of those guys who, you know, is going to fangirl, fanboy over the players when they come out. Like, I, I know the guys, and although I'm not, like, best mates with them, I'm not going around most of the houses and whatnot, but in the same sense, like, I do, I do consider a few of these boys actually good friends of mine, and... You know, it's great that it's, you know, come along to a point where I'm effectively involved with the club and the club knows who I am. You know, the club does know what I do and the club does know what I provide. And, and um, trust me when I say I'm going to keep on smacking it until uh, it's a lot bigger than that. And in the sense that obviously we'll be doing stuff with the club. Like, I, I'm not necessarily saying I want, want to specifically work in the club, but I definitely want to be... Because I'm, I'm like, I, I know that there are things that could be done better in regards to online and in regards to, to the way the things that they can do because I feel like that organisations, they don't understand the fans as much as they think they do. I think they think that fans just want like a basic interview or a basic, you know, this guy talk. And it's like maybe 15, 20 years ago, yeah. Um, nowadays, you have to be a lot more inclusive and immersive with the fans and I just don't feel like any club in Australia, any sport does it as well as they can. You know, I, I see that American clubs are able to do it you know, I, I see that even, uh, yeah, absolutely English as well. You know, English football clubs, they absolutely know how to do it. But I just don't see that Australia's social medias have really grown to a point where they understand that they need to be doing different to what they've actually been doing for the last 10 or 15 years. They've become very, very, 
I would say to an extent complacent. Yeah, I would. I would and this isn't just me talking about the Titans. But me talking. About, I think the Titans actually do probably the best of most clubs um, in most of Australian sports in regards to this. Um, but I think that I'm a fan at heart. Yeah, you know, like originally and still to this day, I am a fan. I'm not a player. I'm not media. I'm not. I'm absolutely goddamn not media. I can tell you that right now. You know, I'm. Um, I'm not organization, I am a fan, just like you guys, that has a platform. And that's something that people need to never forget, right? Is that everything I do is from a fan's perspective. And there is always the perspective of the organization, the perspective of the team, the perspective, uh, perspective sorry, of the media, and then the perspective of the fans. And for me, it's all about the fans. So that's why I... And like the way that I am in regards to being polarizing, because I have an opinion, and, and, and my opinion is my opinion. If you don't have that opinion, that's fine. Tell me I'm wrong, and, and feel free to, to have a crack, because, you know, obviously I'll have a crack back at you. It is what it is. This is not some, you know, soft cock channel that... It's not a channel that caters to anything, right? If I have an opinion, I'll tell you it. And if that's polarizing or not, that's not my problem. That's your problem. But with you... You're able to have your opinion, and I'm going to respond to it. If I agree with it, I'm going to agree with it, right? I'm going to tell you, yeah, no, that's fair. I, like, that's 100% right. And if I get proven wrong, I'm very happy to come out and say, well, look, okay, cool. Yeah, I put him down in the not that great tier, and this year, he's been very good. He's up there. It happens all the time. It happens all the time. I put Cowboys in last last year, and they, came into, they got into the preliminary final. It happens all the time. It happened with pretty much everyone except for Cowboys fans. It happened with pretty much everyone. So, and another, like, <laughs> don't ever apologize for that. Like, I see a lot of people saying, oh, I'm so sorry that I put Cowboys down there. And shush. Like, no, you had a reason to put them down there, right? And stand by your word. At the time, you had a reason to put the Cowboys down there. And everyone knew it. Everyone could see it. Everyone understood it. But then, obviously, the things change, and from that point, they surprise everyone. It was a fantastic story. It was an absolutely fantastic story, but never apologize for having a belief about something. Right? Never apologize for having a belief about something. Polarizing or not, believe in what you say and believe in yourself, man. That's the main thing that you need to understand about what I do and who I am and what I, and what I create, is that I, I, don't, I don't need to cater to any audience. If you like what I do, I appreciate you. If you don't like what I do, then feel free to go find another YouTube channel because there is a hundred, not million, but like, there's heaps of channels out there that are different and will suck up to you to let you feel like you're right about everything because they want your subscription. I want you to subscribe. I want you to be a part of the channel. But if it's not for you, it's not for you. If it's not for you, it's not for you. Because I'm going to give you my opinion, and if I think your opinion's wrong, I'm going to say it. And then usually people are going to get upset that I think your opinion's wrong, and then it goes in the tip tap. And that's why I say you muppet, right? You're just a stupid muppet. You're a silly little muppet. That doesn't necessarily mean you're wrong, just because I think that you're wrong. Doesn't mean that you're wrong. It's just a way to voice your opinions. And you've just got to understand that this channel is not going to suck up to you. We're not going to circle jerk you. We're not going to sit here and circle jerk your opinion to say that you're right when you're probably not. And if I'm wrong, then everyone can tell me I am. And I'm telling you, I would say 99% of the time I've been able to say I was wrong. I would even say 100% of the time. If I'm proven wrong, I'm proven wrong. Because there's no, there's no two ways about it. No two ways about it. So... Yeah, I think that's just the update for today. I think that would be, um, I think that's the uh, everything I need to realistically say. Obviously, we do pump content on BK Sport Instagram, so go and follow us on Instagram. Uh, we do every day, or heaps of stuff every day on the stories. Plus, we're getting a bit more into TikTok now. So, BK Sport YouTube on TikTok uh, is. Uh, I would have had BK Sport, but I actually originally had an account, forgot the password, so that's why it's BK Sport YouTube. Uh, on TikTok, so go and follow that. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So obviously, guys, hit that thumbs up button. Uh, you know, the main thing that I always say is live your passion. Don't let anybody tell you that you can't do something. Actually, don't forget as well, I've got a Gold Coast Titans podcast that'll be starting up in the first week of January and an NRL-specific podcast that'll be starting up on the fir uh, beginning of January as well, which will be on Spotify uh, and Apple and the like. So uh, definitely look forward to that. They're two separate podcasts, by the way. Two separate podcasts. Titans 1 will have players and whatnot on. NRL 1, not sure as much, but we'll obviously it's the beginning of it. Um, so yeah, I think that's it. I think that's it. And uh, yeah, little passion. Don't anybody tell you you can't do something because uh, you're going to know in 2023 that things have changed in a positive way. And it's all because of consistency. 
and it's all because of passion and it's all because of believing in yourself. And that's the thing I tell you guys all the damn well time. But all right, guys, appreciate you. Hit that thumbs up button, subscribe when you're around here, and I will see you guys very soon. Thanks for watching. Catch you later.